Okay, eight is your man, uh, Carrie Peck, huh? and uh, I want to do a review of the Lenovo uh, Yoga Idea Pad. I've had it for about six or seven months since. So that's like since February or March. I've been planning on doing it for a while, just haven't gotten around to it. Let other things get busy, you know, in the way. But anyways, uh, here it is. Um, I'll bring the camera around and um, we'll get stuck in. Okay, here we go. This is a little... Uh, Joby, it's a little, I'll show it this little thing that I'm using uh, with my PowerShot SX120IS uh, Canon. IS, which I learned stands for Image Stabilization. Um, anyways, it's just a little tripod. That I call it a bendy tripod. So, anyways, okay. We'll get stuck in here gotta leave it down like that for just a little bit okay so here is the Lenovo yoga idea pad um, as you can see it's got a pretty big screen um, it's touch screen um, it's got Windows 8. Here's your home screen with everything on it. Um, just tons of stuff that I got on here. And here's all your administrative stuff. And um, right here is your old familiar uh, desktop. And you got Internet Explorer, Control, and Recycle Bin. And then you can. See, if you go like that, you can look at the recent places that you've been, and you'll also get direct access right back to the start screen. Uh, you also get access to um, search and share and the start screen and settings over here on the side. If you just see, if you just hover over there, um, and you have you, it, so it comes with things. Um, tiles, these live tiles. It comes with live tiles already on it and then you can go to the app store here and buy or you get tons of free apps. There's the app store uh, but anyways um, one of the cool things okay um, I'll power it down here and I'll show you one of the cool things about Windows 8 or I think one of the cool things so this is just one of the many cool things that I think is cool about Windows 8 um, okay and your power button okay your power button is down there you can't see it but it's down there um, so you gotta um, press that turn it on and there's the Lenovo um, and it's got this little wheel that's spinning I really like the feel of this um, right here um, just on the outside you know okay so this is picture password so you can you gotta rem when you set this up you gotta remember exactly what you did because you're gonna have to repeat it and hopefully there it is BAM um, so you can switch between um, picture password uh, a uh, pin custom pin number and a regular old password you'll find all of that in here 
um, change PC settings you come to this screen and you click on users and then change picture password there it is and it'll ask you to type in your password password so just to confirm that it's you and then it'll ask you um, use this picture choose a different picture um, I'm not going to change it right now um, yeah so we can hit the cancel button on that um, and then we just get back over to the regular start screen um, what is really cool about the yoga is it's one of these Windows 8 devices that merges between uh, laptop and tablet um, in case you don't want to uh, or don't need a tablet a lot and you're just going to mainly use the desktop uh, I really enjoy the the uh, touch features of Windows 8 um, but anyways this laptop has three um, stages or places sta stages I guess you call it so you can have it so you can have it like this in laptop mode or you can flip it like this and put it in what they call the tent mode and there's everything um, let's see and see you can pull up the touch keyboard um, and you can type like that um, Let's see, um, or you can go into full-on tablet mode like that, or you can have it like this, and it'll change the direction of everything into portrait. No matter which way you turn it, it's going to change the direction eventually. Come on should change the direction here. Maybe I turn it again. No? Well, it should change the direction every time you turn it. Anyways, I keep it in laptop mode a lot. Uh, sometimes I'll go up into tent mode um, it's really only good for watching videos um, yeah but let's go I'll show you yeah I just really like I like the touch feature of Windows 8 I like scrolling through web pages you still got your cursor here so you can use the cursor um, but here is the new MSN homepage a lot different than if you're still on Windows 7 or Windows Vista um, here you have live tiles um, though they're not really live well, the the mail is live. The Facebook icon just takes you to the MSN Facebook page. But uh, if I want to see if I want to go to Facebook, primarily I go in here and I go right here to the little Facebook icon on your home page, and it just pops up it'll pop up a new Facebook page every time uh, that's kind of redundant and then you, you can have uh, Google Mail 
or Gmail right here and you can get into YouTube right here um, but see this is how you scroll up down like that and um, let's see well let's go back to MSN um, because that's a really good page to show you uh, you can zoom in like this just just by going like this um, and in modern mode you have well, let's go here I'll show you let's take a search on uh, Bing I'll show you a, a, a Bing search here in modern mode um, I don't know oh, see this is pretty cool what they got going on on Bing today um, let's see um, I don't know um, tractors and hit images no I want images there we go and see it brings up all of these tractor images and then you can just scroll through them at your leisure though if I'm sitting in the chair over here like I like to do and balance it on the armrest there your arm kind of gets tired because it has to hang out over the edge but and you just keep scrolling and when it gets to the bottom you can just keep scrolling and scroll as much as you want because it'll upload uh, new results automatically um, it's kind of annoying sometimes and there's little uh, little um, things that are different from say Windows 7 that take a while to get used to but once you get used to them uh, then it's then you're kind of I'm kind of like wow this is what I was missing you know um, so oh steam tractors let's check that out oh awesome all right yeah and um anyways so if I wanted to right here I click on that and it will ask me um, do you want to pin to start or add to favorites let's well I'll show you what pin to start does so it, it'll come up there and it'll ask you again do you want a pin to start so pin to start and then we go over to start and we scroll over and there it is right up there so yeah and you can choose these backgrounds you can choose different colors different and each one of the backgrounds here on your start screen has a different set of scenes so you go to the start screen well I guess they all have the same themes just different colors so we can see what that would look like in green and red or you have that one huh, wait yeah you, you can go to this one that's the one we got you could go there do all kinds of things you can look at this one. Oh, it doesn't show you the guitar though that's 
tube. Oh yeah, there's the guitar. It's up there in the corner. Okay. Um. Oh, hmm, I didn't realize you could have just plain orange. Huh. Anyways, I'll go back to that one. Um. You go over here. You go back to the desktop and you can change all of the desktop background too and you can change the themes I mean when I say you can change the theme I mean you can change what, what the colors are at the top there and at the bottom there uh, so it'll match your desktop background and you just go in here and you can select whatever theme you want you can make custom themes they have some themes that are already made from Lenovo um, but anyways yeah Um, so the only thing about this one is, is that, you know, your arm might get tired after a while if you're scrolling through it a lot. Um, I think this is great for, uh, recreational stuff. Um, the only thing that I'm not so happy about is, uh, I haven't figured out how to get iTunes on here yet. Um, but other than that, I mean, I like, um, I got iHeartRadio, and, um, I got this new app, uh, Songza, which is really good. Um, I like the games. Here, I'll show you a game. We'll show you a game real quick. Uh, this is, um, bowling. And, um... We'll just show you how that goes. This is a pretty cool game. I found this one uh, just the other night. So you can have classic game or you can do trick shot game. Let's try a quick sh uh, trick shot game. So you move it over and then you set it down and you point it and then you go like that. And I assume, I don't know, I haven't tried doing it with the uh, cursor, but here, here we go. No, it doesn't want to work with the cursor. Um, and you can have, you can set it up, you have to set it up to, to do what my cursor is doing right now. Um, you have to set that up separately um, and to get it to set up you have to set it up separately to get um, sticky where you can just click on the item once and drag it um, but you can look over here to the side and see exactly where your ball is going and you can look out here too and you just gotta stay straight and then it knocks them all down. Um, yeah, so so that's that's that. I I like that one. Um, there's a ton of different apps out there. Um, just a ton. Um, Let's see. Oh, oh, I'll show you Lazy Paint. Lazy Paint is really fun and cool. Um, so, let's see. Load an image. Um, go up. Let's pick one from here. Here we go. So we'll open that and then 
the software in here does does its thing and you just go like this just like that and you end up with now I probably should have cropped this before I started this but you end up with something that looks like it's painted but it's not it's just fun to mess around with hmm clear and then I like the um some instruments you can play instruments there's instrument apps some of them are pretty good Yeah, that's, that's pretty fun sometimes. Um, cowbell is pretty fun sometimes. That's cowbell. And then my other favorite instrument app is the bongos. Yeah, let's check out bongos. That's bongos. Oh, that's that's cowbell again. Sorry, but it's really great with these live tiles that uh, update automatically or constantly, um, and they they they'll show you things. Uh, a new app that I really like is oh, uh, where is it at? Where did I put it? Uh, it's Appy Geek. There it is. Appy Geek is really cool. Uh, you get all your um, tech news uh, right here. They got photos. They got Microsoft video gaming, iMac, all kinds of newsy stuff so yeah that's a really cool app that's really good um, another one of my favorite apps is uh, the urban dictionary which you see on there it's got the um, Definition for sympathy drunk right now. Um, they got IMDB, that's good. Um, NORAD, but um, another app that uh, is really good, I like, anyways, is the Obama quote. See, he's got. Uh, Yes, we can. I don't know. He just says yes, we can. Um, and you got a picture of Obama there. And you click on the next button that's right there. It'll pop up another one. Um, Oh, another app that's really cool that updates like all the time that I got is Sleeps Till Christmas. 
you can see right there that there are 41 sleeps until Christmas so that's really cool um, like I said um, iHeartRadio is pretty cool um, we'll check out I'll, I'll, we'll check out iHeartRadio come on iHeartRadio here we go and it's loading just taking forever there's iHeartRadio and you got you got your uh, connection to Facebook right up there and there it goes and they got all the local stations right there yeah and you can come back to the start screen while that's playing so and then you can go on and do other stuff so we'll pause that I didn't know that was gonna start up like that anyways and then I'll show you songs uh see what Songza is all about um, if I can before I run out of battery power um, let's see here. There it is, and you can, Songza is just got a bunch of different suggestions for kinds of songs you might want to listen to, so you pick one of them, and then it, it'll come up with suggestions, and it comes up here and they'll start playing the music for you so yeah but it's got a ton of activities here in the concierge from cooking and Carrying road rage, all oh, tons of stuff. Yoga, workout, cool down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's songs. Uh, this is um, it does have um, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, so overall, I like it. Um. I really like it. Um, the speed of everything is good. Um, the touch is good. Um, the mouse pad is good here. Um, all the customization stuff is really neat. Um, the app store, I like the app store obviously. Um, But the only thing I'm disappointed in right now is that I haven't figured out how to get um, iTunes on here. Um, and okay, so so I'll show you I'll show you one more thing. You can go so if you're in modern mode, you can go. Here we are. We're back here with our steam engine photos. You can go down here into the corner and you tap on this and you can say, well, 
folks, right now since I'm in the Bing app, it says switch to Bing app, find on page, or view on the desktop. I've found this to be handy sometimes. It's kind of, it's just a cool thing that you can do. And it'll take you back to the desktop here and you can uh, view all of those there. Um, and then if you go up into the corner right here, you'll see that I can just get back to that last thing automatically. Um, one thing that I really like about modern mode is this tab over here. Well, okay. There, the tab right there. And you click on that. You click on that, and it'll take you back to whatever was the previous page. That's pretty handy. Um, and you pull this down like that and you get all the pages that are open and you click on the pages like that. Um, anyways, uh, I think the speed is pretty good for videos and stuff. Um, and music and everything um sometimes all right we'll go let's go over to the desktop and I'll show you sometimes sometimes in the YouTube sometimes you're in YouTube and you're scrolling down like like this you'll accidentally you can accidentally um, is very easy to accidentally hit something over here and then you'll end up going to a video clip that you didn't want to go to um, but anyways that that's that and see I'll show you, let's just say, I don't know, um, news. Hmm. Okay, see? See here's the I'll show you the the video quality here and the sound. I don't know where they got the speakers at though. They must be underneath it or in there somewhere. Oh yeah. Well, since I left songs open, I gotta shut down and then go back. But I, I want to show you the that you you saw how good the commercial was. But I'll show you a little bit more. We'll just watch like five minutes. Um, you can also it's uh, I'll show you something else here, and then that'll be the end of our little video. Overall, you know, I would buy it. You know, is this is for the person that's, um, you know, going to be using it for um, leisure and um, on the go and um, work, and you need the ability of the uh, keyboard. Um, and you need the ability of a tablet. Um, so 
So let's see here. Uh, I thought I left YouTube open here, but I didn't. So oh, that's right. I had it on the desktop. Sorry. So we'll go to the desktop and we open this and I'll show you really we'll just say short videos short videos or you know what I, I can show you a really short video that's on my YouTube channel that'll give you a pretty good idea of the video quality that's what I'll do I know I was going to show you bloopers from the news or something, but here, see this is all my videos, uh, here we go, this is just a short little video, here we go, oh, 75, so the sound is pretty good. And you can bring it up to full screen. Um, I'm not exactly, I don't exactly remember what the size is. I think it's like 13 or 12. So you can see that the video quality is pretty good, though it kind of, and the speed is pretty good, the internet speeds are pretty good, though I think that largely depends on, um, I think your video speeds and your internet speeds largely depend on, um, your router, but, uh, and I have, I'll just mention real quick, um, I have uh, Xfinity and high speed and their cable package with wireless internet. Um, it's pretty good. I found that I can walk all the way. I'll show you. I can walk. I can use it in the bathroom even with the door closed. I only do that sometimes. But I'll show you. Um, so. Yeah, I can walk all the way with my Wi-Fi. I can walk all the way. We gotta be a little bit quiet. But with the Wi-Fi, I found I can walk all the way down here to the laundry room in my apartment building. So that's pretty good. Um, and the speed's pretty good um, still. So and even with the door closed. So that's pretty good. Um, Anyways, yeah, there's Teddy. Say hi, Teddy. Teddy, say hi. Alright. Um, another thing that I like about the... When you have it like this, is it brings your clock up and shows you the date and it shows you your Wi-Fi status and your battery status. Um... And you can change, um, 